Hello, I'm Captain Mark Edelson, Assistant Commander for Public Works. I want to give you an update on our general fund transition where we're moving our working capital fund, which NAFX has been in for years, into general fund. It's been a massive effort in FY20, and that combined with moving to a single BSO where CNIC and FX finances are combined and switching the IT systems that run our accounting and financial management systems. It's been a pretty big year, not to mention there's a couple other things going on with COVID, of course, and our biggest MILCON program in history, helping out China Lake, uh, the recovery from Florence, and other things. So we've had people across our 22,000 person enterprise working on it. Although Public Works is doing a lot of it, we also have a lot of environmental actions within the Working Capital Fund. Our NITSI, our NAFEC Information Technology Center, is involved with this massive effort. And the changes in the accounting system, the financial system, along with that BSO consolidation, is affecting every part of NAFEC's business. It's been a tough road, but we're showing some uh, huge improvements from the beginning of the year. Uh, early on, we couldn't process any of our utility payments. We run about $900 million through the uh, utility system every year. Now that's operating smoothly. It's taken a lot of code promotions. Essentially, NITSI every weekend is sending new code to make uh, fixes, to uh, change things, to make this uh, work. Now we had to uh, rebuild our entire manpower infrastructure, link uh, people to new FIPS, financial information pointers, make sure everybody's getting paid out of the right accounts. That's resulted in everybody in NAFAC getting uh, billet mapped. Uh, that's occurred with great help from our HARSC friends. We're still making a few adjustments, but most of the 22,000 of us are in the right spot now. Uh, besides the utility payments that we had to work with DISA and DLA to get right, process about 3,000 of those invoices a month. We also pay GSA for a lot of our uh, vehicles. We were not able to do that at the beginning of the year. That's all fixed. Uh, and then after we pay the bill and CNIC essentially fronts the money, then we have to get cost allocation to all our customers. We have well over a thousand customers, whether other Navy commands, other DOD commands, or private parties like our PPD partners. We've got to get costs allocated to each of them, collect funds from them, reimburse CNIC for the direct costs, collect money on the utility side for the SRM, the maintenance of the utility systems, and then collect some overhead and direct costs for NAVFAC. All that, again, every month for vehicle rentals, for utilities, for hazways pickup, for uh, facilities maintenance services, that all runs through our IT systems, has to hit the right financial uh, uh, job order number, collect the money and then get it all in the right spot. Uh, at the beginning of the year, that was pretty tough. Uh, right now, it's working smoothly for most of our, uh, uh, our commodities. Good example would be has waste. We even put that one off at the very beginning of the year. Uh, once the environmental folks got uh, engaged and it moved up in the programming priority list, uh, their error rate has been the best amongst uh, all of our commodities. Utilities, though, is probably the biggest one, again, with $900 million uh, moving through it. Uh, in every meter uh, for every building linked to a customer account uh, that has to, we have to collect those uh, utility bills from the utility customers, uh, link the usage to a meter, link the meter uh, to a customer, link the customer to their job order number, and then charge it all correctly. Uh, and again, that's working now because of the combined efforts of a lot of people. Uh, pretty proud of everything that's happened there, and we're getting now down to some of the smaller items. One of the big ones that is left, though, early in the year, we weren't able to use Maximo. About 11,000 of our people charged their times uh, via Maximo. Uh, we also had to collect um, funding documents from our uh, customers. We get about 50,000 of those a month, so our FM staff was just inundated at the beginning of the year while those uh, financial systems were still coming up and getting running and we were learning how to use them. That's going fairly well right now. 
uh, and we're in the process of putting in the work orders from the first six months of the fiscal year. Uh, we've almost finished that and now we're having to go back and everybody's time for all those work orders is getting loaded. We first did what we call retroactive Maximo, uh, now catch up Maximo to get that time entered so we can charge our customers, collect the money, get it into the right account. Uh, and again, across all our effects, across all our PWDs, uh, that's going on. But we're also looking forward. Uh, we know we don't want to repeat FY20. Uh, so with uh, Assistant Secretary of the Navy's help, uh, CNIC and NAFACT are, are combining our efforts uh, and getting better for 21. So some of the things we're doing, uh, the all-important ops plan uh, that CNIC publishes uh, each year, well, our product line leaders are working much more closely with their headquarters program uh, managers uh, to ensure that uh, uh, both sides of the house, both CNIC and NAFAC, understand uh, the ops plan, read it the same way. So that's been a big help. Uh, rather than sending all the uh, utilities money uh, down the chain to each CNIC region, we're going to keep that at headquarters this year. Uh, and then uh, out of one account, we'll be able to pay uh, all the Navy's utilities bills rather than sending it down and then bringing the money back up. We're going to do similarly with uh, CNIC special projects. Uh, we'll just hold that money at headquarters uh, and then obligate it from headquarters when uh, the contract is uh, ready. We've also found a way, thanks to Southwest, uh, for rather than sending funding documents from CNIC to NAFAC, you know, printing, signing, signing, scanning, uh, we can do that directly through that new financial system. That'll eliminate something like 6,000 documents a year that we've been exchanging between the two commands. So out of the 50,000, that's a nice uh, reduction. We hope to be able to do that with FMC's help uh, with the Marine Corps next year as well. CNIC is collecting some of the more, uh, more of the O&M funds from the, uh, the fleets. Uh, so we'll have a few less funding documents that way. Uh, then FMNC has arranged uh, that the overhead and direct costs in NAFAC that we have to collect off of each of those bills uh, that we charge our uh, Navy Working Capital Fund customers, that'll come directly from, to NAFAC. So that will be one less surcharge we have to put on every bill, one less transaction that has to happen on every bill. So that will make our lives easier. Uh, we're also looking forward to FY22 uh, when we're going to try and collect all that uh, boss money from the Navy Working Capital Fund customers, uh, centralize that at CNIC, uh, and have another reduction in transactions for things like grass cutting and transportation and facilities maintenance. So on uh, behalf of uh, myself, but uh, really acknowledging everybody throughout NAVFAC, uh, in our FM shops, in PW, environmental, in IT, who have made this happen. Uh, FY20 uh, started out rough, uh, but is finishing on a strong note. Uh, and we see the improvements that uh, FY21 is going to bring, all to get uh, greater transparency, simplicity, and commonality with the rest of the Navy. Uh, it's a tough year, uh, but well done to everybody. Thanks for the great effort.